now let me try one more time whether we are able to upload our file upload yes i want to overwrite so our file is uploaded successfully so let me minimize this this and i'm going to refresh this hello william on this is my sankhi and thanks for tuning in william on Hello everyone, this is my son V from vlamon.com and I'm back with another Google Cloud Platform Compute Engine tutorial video. And in this video, we are going to learn about how to use FileZilla to upload files on your Google Cloud Compute Engine VM instance. So this is my VM instance and we are going to upload our files in this VM instance and this is the default root directory for this so let me open my windows 10 machine in this machine google cloud sdk is already installed if you did not install google cloud sdk yet first install it then you are able to use filezilla if you want to know how to download and install google cloud sdk you can check this url i'm going to copy some commands from my blog post and my blog post is available just here so i need to copy some commands permission commands and it is available just here so so that's why this is my blog post url and this url is also available in the description of this video so let's start let me first install filezilla so i'm going to double click and click on yes i agree and i want to install filezilla for everyone click on next Yes, I want to install all the components. I also want to create a desktop icon. Click on next. Yes, I want to install FileZilla in this directory. If you want to change the destination folder, you can type the destination folder here or you can click on browse button to select your appropriate directory. I'm fine with this destination folder. So I'm going to click on next. Uh, yes, I'm fine with this. Click on next and i don't want to install a vast free antivirus so i'm going to uncheck this and then i'm going to click on next i don't want to install bing i'm not agree with this uh, uh, terms and condition this is for bing so we are fine with this uncheck this to check box and if you want to install bing feel free to check this so i'm going to click on next now wait for the installer to copy all the files okay so our filezilla installation is completed successfully so I'm going to click on next and finally I want to start FileZilla. So I'm not going to uncheck this checkbox and then I'm going to click on finish. Okay, so this is our FileZilla. The next thing is we need to launch our Google Cloud SDK shell. So I'm going to click on this and I also, if you don't have any shortcut on desktop, you can press Windows R, type CMD and then you can type Google Cloud. Okay, so if we Google Cloud SDK is installed in your machine, then you are able to see this message. Okay, so let me quickly clear this. And now I want to copy command from my blog post. So I need to open my blog post. The first command we need to run in our Google Cloud shell SDK is gcloud auth login. So I'm going to copy this command and then I'm going to paste this inside our command prompt or Google Cloud SDK shell select the browser you want to prefer for this action i'm going to select internet explorer and let's say i always use this app click on ok now we need to provide our login credential for this i'm going to type my email address here click on next provide your password enter and two-step verification is enabled for my account so i'm going to click on more option i want a sms i'm going to enter my code 686712 and finally i'm going to click on next and now we need to allow allow access for google cloud sdk so I'm going to click on allow button. You are not authorized. Auth, auth is successful. So let me minimize this. And you are now logged in as the user. Your current project is none. You can change these settings by running Google Cloud config set project project ID. 
so the next command i want to execute is i want to execute my next command i want to copy it from cloud.google.com so i need to copy my command from here i need to select my vm instance then i need to select this drop down and then i need to select view view g cloud command i'm going to copy this command copy and then we are going to paste this command inside our terminal so i'm going to paste it here paste okay a uh, warning the put tppk sh key file for g cloud does not exist warning the public ss h key file for g cloud does not exist again a warning the private ss key file for g cloud does not exist you do not have an ss key for g cloud ss key generation will be executed to generate a key file and it is going to be available in our c users mind sangvi dot ssh okay so if you are going to run this command first time then g cloud is going to create some key files and we are going to use those key files to connect our google cloud vm instance so yes i want to continue so our ssh key files are created successfully so let me open windows r c users myangsangv dot ssh folder so these three files are created just now okay so we are going to use our key files to connect filezilla so all these steps are also available in my blog post so here you need to perform a login then you need to copy this command then you need to uh, paste it in terminal all these three files are going to create it and then you need to open filezilla then settings sftp and then you need to select your ppk file so i'm going to open my vm or i'm going to select filezilla files and i want no i want to edit settings and then i need to click on sftp i want to add a key file and my folder is this so let me quickly copy this minimize and then we need to select this ppk file click on open and finally click on okay and now we are going to create a new site i'm going to add my site let's say my site name is my site and here we need to provide our uh, vm instance ip address so let me quickly click on close and i'm going to copy this 35188 so it's 35.188.24.25 35188.24.25 then the protocol we want is sftp and then i'm going to select normal and in the user in the user i'm going to select this user in my system username we have some invalid character so that's why this username is selected for this connection so you need to use this so i'm going to copy this username i'm going to type my username here okay and then finally i'm going to click on connect yes and in the password field i did not provide anything okay now we are connected to our vm instance by default we are connected to our home directory but our website files are available in uh, our website files are available in where www/html so i'm going to open this directory and now we are going to modify this so let me create a local uh, folder for website so let me open our c drive i am going to let's say i am going to create a new folder here website and inside this i am going to create a new 
document index let me select file options view apply ok and then I'm to rename this dot HTML yes and then I'm going to open this open with uh, choose another app I want to open this with notepad ok and here I'm going to simply type a message hello Vlamon that's it and I'm going to save this file let me copy this path I'm going to paste it here and now if for uploading this file I'm going to right click and then I'm going to say upload yes override file and permission is denied so let me click on cancel so permission is denied we are not able to override this file why for this let me minimize this and I'm going to open my blog post and we have permission issue because the owner for this folder and file is somewhere uh, else to check the current owner I'm going to type I can okay so I'm going to type here sudo I want to list down everything inside our where www html folder enter right now the owner for this is root so that's why we are not able to override this file so we need to change the owner for this file for this we are going to execute ch own command so this is the command which we are going to use so let me first execute this command ch own and then we need to provide our username so i'm going to type ch own uh, let me start with sudo ch own and then i'm to type my username Zero 09 then we are going to provide our file path it's where www inside html we have index uh, dot html and let me again execute sudo ls command and now the owner for this file is our username now let me try one more time whether we are able to upload our file upload yes i want to overwrite okay so our file is uploaded successfully so let me minimize this and i'm going to open this and i'm going to refresh this hello william on okay so we are successfully able to upload file or we are successfully able to override index.html let try let me try one more time and this time i'm going to create another html file and i'm going to let me quickly create a copy of this and i'm going to rename this to index2 okay and now i'm going to open this with notepad and then I'm going to say check folder permission and then I'm going to save this and then I'm going to refresh this and then I'm going to upload I'm going to upload this file right click upload and now we have again permission issue okay to resolve this we need to change the permission for the folder for this i'm going to minimize this and we have a command here now we need to give our user permission on this directory so let me quickly copy this command so this is our put t and i'm going to type sudo set fsel
set fcl hyphen m over username the permission for this user and the folder I want where www dot uh, for slash html that's it and let me try one more time to upload our second file upload it and finally our second file is also uploaded successfully and if you want to change the owner for this folder you can also use this command so you can use this command to give permission to our user now let me try one more time and this time to say i'm going to check index2.html and now we have permission on folder also now there is no need to give permission on other folders if the other folder is going to create it by root then definitely you want to change permission and if you are going to and if your this user is going to create a folder then there is no need to give permission on all folder so let me quickly show you so let's say i want to create a folder for let's say css and inside this i need to let's say i want to type a text document control a style dot css ah uh, yes and then i'm going to select this i'm going to select this uh, refresh and upload this so you have permission on html your css folder is created successfully and inside this style.css is created successfully okay if this css folder is created by root then you need to first change its permission and then you are able to modify css folder also but this css folder is created by our this user so that's why not an issue so this is how you can use filezilla to upload files on google cloud vm instance and i hope now you are able to use filezilla to upload your files some important URLs.